Hey gamers, welcome to Console Domination. My name is Dreadlock Spartan and this is Cross Platform Gaming, a show where we talk about uh, games that are released on console or PC and then uh, uh, shifted over to an opposing platform or opened up for all platforms. Um, this month, as you could probably imagine, we're talking about uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Now, everyone's talking about Grand Theft Auto V and how amazing it is on PC, but I'm here to bring you a more objective uh, view on it. I've had the opportunity, obviously, to play it on console and PC. Being a PC gamer, I, I personally usually prefer games on PC, but there are a few things that I'm not too keen on with the Grand Theft Auto V PC port, um, and we're going to get into that a little bit later on. So, Grand Theft Auto V was released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on the 17th of September 2013. That was a very long time ago. Uh, we, we recently got it on um, next-gen consoles back in uh, November of 2014, and in April of 2015, PC gamers finally got to see a PC port of Grand Theft Auto V. Now, people are calling it a port, but I, I, I don't think it was just a conversion. I think it was something that was actually designed from, not from the ground up, but on a cellular level, if you will, uh, to be played on PC, because the, the entire experience is totally different. Um, what, what we're seeing is... Uh, what we're seeing is a game that feels like it was adapted perfectly for the PC gamer. Um, everything from graphic selection to everything from graphic selection to controls, um, just and, and and just the general feel of the game. It actually feels like a PC game. It doesn't feel like a console game that's been ported. For example, Alien Isolation felt like a PC port. Like you could just it, that, that that's how the game kind of felt when you played it. Um, just a quick introduction for those of you that haven't played uh, Grand Theft Auto V, or in fact any of the Grand Theft Autos. Um, it's it's an open world where well, if you play one of three characters, you can switch between them at any time you want. Uh, Franklin. He's an African-American gangster from the hood. Uh, he's a little bit naive, but he's um, pretty much keen to do anything for money. Uh, Michael is an ex-bank robber. He's now retired, uh, has a family and kids, and he's getting back into the game because he made a few mistakes and needs some money. And then, <laughs> and then there's Trevor. Trevor is a meth dealing nut job like he is an absolute psychopath and probably my favorite character in the game although i don't like playing him um i i, I do enjoy his content every time he's on screen he's just random and hilarious uh basically you play as either of these three characters and like i said you can switch between them um in order to achieve a common goal yeah you have to battle through everything from police to other cr other criminals, uh, corrupt FBI agents, porn stars, like yeah, everyone's your enemy and eventually hopefully you come out on top. You're basically put in this world where anything is possible, or almost anything is possible. You, you, you're given a gun and a car and a shitload of cash and you're told to go out and cause total mayhem. There's a rural and a uh, suburban and a metropolitan part of this map, so pretty much anywhere you go is a unique experience. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So we'll go through the uh, the pros of playing it on console from, from my experience and from the experience of a few bloggers out there at the moment. The pros of console gaming uh, when it comes to Grand Theft Auto V is stability. It is an extremely fluid game. It's very stable. Um, the, the control layout is perfect. I think they've really, you know, they've integrated a lot of extra systems like uh, the way you choose your weapons, uh, the f using a phone, um, drive-bys, like uh, drive-by shooting. When um, that was introduced originally in uh, San Andreas, it wasn't fantastic. It was actually kind of hard to do, but um, they've managed to make it very accessible in Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, and, and the community. The community for the console uh version of the game because obviously it's been out a lot longer is is a lot better and there is a multiplayer uh there is an mmo uh side to this game where you can create your own character and start your own gangs and stuff like that um buy apartments and build yourself up as a career criminal um yeah, which, which is an interesting concept. Uh, the, the online version of this game is absolutely incredible. In fact, I found myself becoming quite addicted to it back when it first came out on 360. Um, yeah, it's really fun and it's extremely challenging. And you, you can grind through it, but there's so much variety. Like, you almost don't need to. Like, to earn cash, you can go from anything from racing cars to robbing banks, you know. As far as uh, the, 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 I suppose, the cons on the console is... Um, 
your frame rate and graphic capabilities are a little bit low compared to the PC version of the game. Um, obviously, the consoles have a uh, have a finite amount of uh, hardware and you can't update them. So what you see is what you get. Uh, the size of the game, considering the size of the hard drives that we're getting with our consoles these days, is pretty large. It takes up quite a bit of space and um, actually installing it is quite hectic. I think it's 16 gig. Um, which, you know, is, isn't huge, it's not massive, but it, it's still pretty epic. With the PC version of the game, it, it, it's just as stable. Um, I found a few glitches in it when I first got on. I got on the first week that was released, so of course there's going to be glitches. Um, the the multiplayer is working pretty well. Um, it, it's, it's, all, it's all pretty stable, all pretty fluid, but it looks damn incredible like the graphics are amazing up to 4k quality graphics um, I'm running at 60 frames plus per second and it just looks freaking amazing the amount of detail that they've gone into is is pretty damn out there first person view um, is is something that makes this game absolutely incredible and on the PC like with the fact that the graphics are just so much better first person view is actually really entertaining and it's, it's a great part of the game I, I think it's something that they haven't done they haven't accomplished in the past with Grand Theft Auto um, there's, you know, there's a lot that goes into it it's, it's a totally different game when you play in first person um, but they've really managed to step it up for the PC version of this game it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible and last but not least mods uh, this is something that you're going to hear me say a lot about a lot of games uh, when it comes to PC versus console. I think the mods really make it. Um, not only do they add a um, different side to the game, um, more of a community um, built enterprise, like you get things that you, you know there's like a wish list out there all the things that you wish you could do in a game someone's going to make a mod for it eventually and the mods for this game are absolutely incredible and if you like the day that it came out it had graphic mods it had texture packs it uh, within a week of its release on PC, someone had modded it to work on the Oculus Rift. The final thing with uh, with the PC version is you have an inbuilt cinematography tool. Now you can use this to record gameplay, or if you if you're not constantly recording your gameplay, like you know if you're not a YouTuber, for example, um, and you're not constantly recording your gameplay, you can actually get it to record like the last five minutes like if you did something really cool and you want to upload it to the to the community um, you can get your uh, inbuilt cinematography tool to record like the last five minutes of gameplay like you did an amazing trick or you managed to land on a plane in midair using a motorbike or something mental like that you can um, yeah, you can use it for that on the other hand it also gives you access to be able to um, like jump into first uh, j jump into controlling characters within the world so uh, whether it be an animal or, or a bus driver or uh, just a passenger or a police officer uh, you can you can jump in and control that um, sentient being if you will um, the upside to this is you can make your own short movies or you can make long movies if you wanted to I imagine but um, yeah you can like you can basically choreograph a movie and uh, make like a little skit or something like that like yeah it's a bit of fun I remember um, the first game I experienced something like this in was uh, Halo 3, where you, or was it Halo 2, where you could uh, build a map and like you know build a scenario and play it out using using the uh, cinematography tool in Halo, um, and that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, but your Grand Theft Auto takes it to a, a whole nother level, like a whole nother level entirely. Now the cons to playing it on PC controls. I'm usually a WASD fan, like through and through. I love using keyboard and mouse, but I think there's a lot going on, and I haven't played, I don't think I've played enough of the game to really say this, but on PC, but um, I think there's a lot going on, and I think it's going to take a while to get the hang of the controls. The good thing about it is you can change them whenever you want. Apart from that, the biggest con playing Grand Theft Auto V on PC is you're not going to be able to experience it at its best without spending a lot of money on a gaming rig. Um, the These are the recommended um, system specs. So like these are just like, if you want to play the game, like this is what you need. You need Windows 8.164 bit, uh, at least an i5 quad core, 65 gigs of hard drive, free hard drive space, eight gig of RAM, and uh, an equivalent N Nvidia GTX 660 or an AMD HD 7070. Uh, 7070. Um, these are two gig graphics cards. Um, I have a four gig HDDR5 Nvidia 770, and 
it, it performs really well. It performs really well, and as it should, being a, you know a, a high-end graphics card. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, anything lower than a 660. That's for sure. Um, anything with less than two gig of RAM, you are dreaming. Um, but that's an expensive rig. Uh, when you if you're building from the ground up, then you've got 4K monitor, you've got deep peripherals, you've got HDMI leads, you've got all sorts of stuff. Um, which makes the console version of this game for someone that's looking at buying it now more um, more attractive, really. Uh, which is a shame, because like I said, you know, you've got the mods and the cinematography tool and the graphics, and it's all very amazing. But if you, yeah, like I said, if you don't have the uh, the setup, then and, you, and you're not willing to spend the money on it, then it's not really worth it. So in conclusion, um, what I'm... My, the, my opinion on this matter is probably I'm more leaning towards the console version. Um, for uh, just as far as finances are concerned, it's it's a great version of the game. It, you don't really lose a lot of the quality. Like it is still a really high end quality game, especially on next gen console. Um, I would <laughs> don't get me wrong though. I would definitely recommend the PC version to anyone that already has the setup. Uh, but if you're just a casual gamer and you're not looking at investing a lot of time in in Los Santos, then it's not really worth getting the PC version. On the other hand, though, if you want a uh, reason to quit your job and uh, live out the rest of your life in a virtual reality, then the PC version is definitely for you. Um, yeah, so in saying that, I'm going to keep playing it on PC because I've got the rig for it. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions though. Uh, for any of you that played it on console when it first came out and are now playing it on PC or have played the PC port, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Short from that, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next month on Cross Platform Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Console Domination and check me out at my channel. Links are in the description down below and I will see you on the servers. Catch you later.